Expedian Sarah Silverman and two authors are suing Meta and chat GPT maker OpenAI, alleging the company's AI language models were trained on copyrighted materials from their books without their knowledge or consent. Ooh, okay. So joining us on the Kogo News Live line, patent professor John Rizvi. John, explain exactly what's happening here. Yeah, so this is uh, an unusual case in that uh, the infringement claimed is not for the, for the output. It's not as uh, uh, a claim that uh, against what's ultimately done with the material, but it's claiming that just the training on their material is without, uh, without their knowledge or consent, and, and there is a basis for that. Under copyright law, the author of a work gets to decide when it's used, how it's used, where it's used, um, and provides permission. And that this uh, chat GPT, by crawling these databases, and some complaints have used the word ingesting the copyrighted work, that that in itself is infringement. So, I mean, are, are we in uncharted territory here? It seems like this is, this is rapidly taking off. Uh, we, we certainly are in uncharted uh, territory, but, but not only that, it's a scale. If this is found to be infringing, this is a scale of infringement like never before seen. I mean, this, they, they clearly uh, OpenAI and ChatGPT would be one of the biggest infringers of copyrighted material in, in the history of the world. It's never, uh, we've never had a situation where infringement uh, was was alleged on such a huge scale as we have here. So how are the courts likely to rule? This is, this is brand new stuff right here that we're looking at. Uh, well, it, it's going to, ultimately it's going to become an, an evidence play in that uh, the only, you know, some of the defenses from ChatGPT, of course, would be that, hey, we didn't, uh, we didn't ingest the material, we didn't train on your material, and naturally, in order to provide that defense, then they would have to reveal, okay, so how did you get these summaries? And that's essentially the plaintiff's claim, is that your summary of my book is so incredibly detailed, the only way you would have be able to do that is if you had access to the full book. Uh, so chat GPTs, possibly they could, you know, maybe they can point to other sources, other databases, other summaries that were simply compiling summaries that are already out there. But in order to put up any of those defenses, uh, the, the big risk is, okay, so tell us what your databases are that you use and tell us your methods. And that could be a death knell for chat GPT because certainly that's proprietary that's their competitive edge, right? Like how how they do what they're doing is what they're trying to keep as a trade secret, uh, so, so that they can lead with uh, this this type of AI. And if that is revealed, then that could essentially uh, result in a bunch of copycat AI programs similar to ChatGPT that are either free or substantially lower priced than what ChatGPT is currently charging. All right, John Risby, patent professor, joining us. Thanks for that, John. Always a pleasure. Thank you.